<laughs> it was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. I feel like we're a horse with blinkers. Honestly, say, I was about to have sex and then I pulled Crap, up. but it's nice. I'm Mickey Van Sale and I'm 63 years old. Uh, I'm an independent scholar and researcher and my life purpose is activism to try and change the gender dynamics, the gender binaries. I'm married to a wonderful woman who is the anchor of my life. I'm Solange, I'm Brazilian. I came to South Africa for love. Mama Putum Kangedi. Um, I'm from Eastern Cape Indue. I live in Lower Cross Road. I'm 40 years old. I'm Susan Holland Muter. I am 46 years old. I am a student. I'm studying for a doctorate in sociology and sexuality. I am happily married. I've been married to Solange for seven years. My name is Funega Soldat. Um, I'm staying here in Cape Town. Uh, I've been married for <clears throat> seven years, eight years now. We're feminists, and so for, for many reasons, we don't believe or didn't want this marriage, official marriage. And if we were not having to face the issues of immigration, I don't think we would be married formally. Um, and I think before you could have be married formally, um, a way for a gay person or a lesbian person to be married was to move in together. That was our marriage in that sense. Um, so. I mean, we often had this conversation when we were negotiating what to do um, around Solange being able to stay. Um, well, we said, well, we're going to have to get married. And that way she'd be able to have a visa and be together. You know, for me, getting married with someone, someone that I'm, I'm in a relationship with him, and then it's good to also to have access to his things so that the family, when they start questioning me, and then I've been protected in terms of that, we are in a relationship and this thing is it's written down and there's a paper that's saying that I'm in a relationship with this person. You know, um, because the really, as gay people, we're experiencing that if like someone passed away, your partner and the family, they will come to you and demand his stuff, that mm -hmm. it, he was working and then it, we, and it will take all this thing that we have. Office that time, we were in a relationship, we were sharing whatever you, you bought in, in, at your house, we were sharing as a partner because we are in a relationship, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know, <clears throat> I did my doctorate on uh, same-sex marriages mm. Mm. and in the States, especially in places where same-sex marriage isn't legal, people do a lot of cultural marriages, what they call mm. cultural marriages, mm. just do commitment ceremonies and so on. Mm. But the people that I spoke to in South Africa, the majority of them mm. got married, who got married, mm. uh, not everybody did, um, who got married did it for, uh, for legal reasons as well. Mm -hmm. It was a very large proportion mm -hmm. of their motivation. The government, as long as the government doesn't really recognize our, our relationship as a marriage, um, and it's still a civil union which is different from the, from, 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 from the, the general public, it's still going really to be a, a long time that, uh, that the community will totally uh, respect um, and acknowledge our partnership, our, our partnership. It's the equality in the relationship, mm -hmm. the balance of power that exists in our relationship because I, co I couldn't imagine, um, you know, other relationships, like my parents' relationship was so imbalanced in power. But I still think, I mean, for instance, that heterosexual couples who try and get equality must really fight very hard for that equality. We grew up in a in a patriarch environment um, uh, and society, which means all the time you you have really to to relook how you uh, how you look at your own power um, uh, versus to your own partner. So most of the time you have to be conscious about that because we grew up seeing mother and, and father most of the time, which is something that's been acknowledged. Lesser or more than that is not is not acknowledged in communities. So sometimes you become like somehow being trapped in the so in the same um, in the same system. So you have always keep on checking that you 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 are not really comfortable in those in those uh, in those um, uh, in those spaces. If you stop thinking in terms of the gender binary. Mm. 
then the whole of patriarchy, yeah. of heteropatriarchy, yeah. will collapse. The world collapses. The world will yeah. collapse. Because everything that people understand about other people mm. is based mm. on this gender binary. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The gender binary is saying that there are real men and there are real yeah. women. Yeah. And if you do not conform to those stereotypes mm. of what is a real man, mm. walking in a certain way, speaking in a certain way, dominating women, that you've got access to women, free access to women, and women being available to men, serving men, caring for men. If you get beyond those binaries, then the whole of society as we know it would collapse. Even and if that you get, is even if you get more equal relationships, mm. so even there's still an idea that there exists a man and a woman, mm. yes. and if the, if if someone is in between, then you have to chance, and then you have to mm. move from one to the other. But a world, if you look at a person and you can't recognize them, as in you can't recognize, are oh, you a man or woman? It's uncomfortable for that person, mm. and you'll generally find you like you'll end up looking again and again and again until you're kind of clear. Okay. You're a woman, or you're a man. Um, and so uh, we understand the world in that way, and we grow up in that way. So from the time you pop out, you got given a little blue. What's the a first blue, question you ask so when a baby is born? Is it a boy or a girl? And then you get because the blue if you and don't the know, yeah, you cannot plug the person into the hole that you want to plug them into. Put them in their box. And so if you don't have that, from the time you go to school, there's school uniforms, there's the sports, that's everything. Who, if you, when, you, when you get married, who's the bride, who's the groom? So there's a whole set of traditions and ways in which we structured our lives around having a boy and having a girl. And as soon as you break that down and you say, actually, no, there's two girls, the world falls apart. The question is, uh, is about this, but what's really the true woman to do <laughs> for <Exactly>. pleasure? Mm. <laughs> it's understood of how gay men have sex, mm. yes, because, because there's a penis, it's, right? But there's no penis, so it's but not the possible. Is, in, in, a, in a relationship, with also in a heterosexual relationship, if like this in a relationship, we have to have a baby, we have to have a child. Exactly. No matter you're in a sex relationship, maybe a man and a man, they've got a penis. But the question is, how, how are going to make reproduce? a baby? Yes. Because, because family, if you are not yeah, producing anything, you are, you are like, they will yeah. start questioning, how, how, why are you in a relationship? That is a problem. That is a stereotype yeah. for communities. Exactly, yeah. Because they think that the relationship we have to produce, if you are not producing, you are not, it's, that is not a relationship. For a long time, my family said about, uh, talk about this, is this, uh, I, my, my, my daughter grow because my mother uh, uh, support. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm not responsible. Mm. I'm, I don't know things, bad things mm -hmm. for me. For a long time, I've been feeling, I've, I feel guilty. With my, my daughter, uh, had uh, 18 years old, I asked her, now she's 25, I asked her, what you feeling? Mm. You feel it's okay. You need psychologists for you mm. because I'm feeling guilty. <laughs> and she said, "My mother, come on, is I'm fine. It's really." She, she said, "I'm fine. I'm I'm really a grow and different family." The pressure that's put so much on our relationship. Sometimes it makes sometimes rather than focusing on on loving each other so much, so you have to spend so much protecting each other. Uh, for example, if you go to the shop with your mom, with your brother, maybe, and for example, my uncle, I usually go with my uncles, and my uncle is easy to say, this is my girlfriend or, 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 or my wife, but so quickly, and then I have to say, oh, and I just look at my, at my partner and laugh, but I have to make sure the environment is safe for me to say that she's my partner mm. or, or whatever because at most of the time I have to make sure I protect I have to protect ourselves even if we go to the shop maybe if she she have to take a text and go somewhere even if I feel like that I have to hold her hand or just to kiss and say goodbye but I can't do that I have to do it at home then when I go out she just have to take a text and go the, we work a lot for change, but a grow another generation. They, with your push, rights have another wave. Is they put, mm -hmm. uh, they, they put back. Is there sometimes is you think it's okay? Is this possible? Uh, they they, they want uh, uh, have transformation, uh, change. 
but you you uh, uh, feeling the another wave is is very strong conservative. And, oh my God, maybe the world don't change. And I said, what more? Mahuang, Mahuang. Did you hear what he said yesterday? The Chief Justice is saying the law needs to be gu uh, guided by religion. You know, so I mean, that's exactly what you're talking about. Is this this? And I mean, that is how, how repression works. If you look at how apartheid worked, the more the resistance came, the stronger the resistance became, the stronger the repression and the violence became. It's a, still a long walk to freedom for gay men, for LGBTI, actually. In a way, because of people, it's not that they don't want to accept them, their sexuality. Because of people in their family, even some of, of some of them, they don't want to accept them that they are gay. And because now they are using that religious and the culture doesn't allow this in our community. Because if we can look at the culture, when we talk about the culture and the religious, why there is a lot of rape in kids and women and, and grandmothers if the culture still exists. Why the culture allow that and then doesn't allow gay people to live in a society as a gay people, as a normal people, like heterosexual people, as they are saying that the heterosexual are, norm, are normal people, the homosexual is abnormal. I don't know where they get it. That is wrong. And religious side, they're putting on a religious, religious doesn't allow that. I was, um, I was so shocked when I heard from the ministries in Johannesburg. I was attending a, a conference for men's sector in, 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 in Johannesburg. The ministries, the pastors, they were saying that this gay men homosexual thing is not something new. It's an old thing. It was happening in the Bible. But because of guys, you are lazy to read the Bible. I mean, as, as a white person, as a white couple living in a white area, mm. I think we really are far more protected yeah than you are, mm -hmm. because uh, for us, we almost act with, you know, unconsciously mm -hmm. that we just accept it in our own community, mm -hmm. you know, on the yeah. Camps Bay Beach, in Deval Park, and mm -hmm. so on. We don't have any fears about, about um, mm -hmm. violence or, or things. I mean, sometimes people shout at us, like the Burgies will shout at us, man frau, man frau, you know. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, they have judgment, stigma, and stereotype coming up, mm -hmm. and harassment in terms of Two men were couples staying together before my divorce. I used, I, I'm living with my youngest brother's children at my place. I'm looking after them. And they've been also harassed by community that, are you, are you living with gay people? Maybe you'll change and become also a gay people. It's what they are saying, but I just ignore. You know, and saying that, who's your ma and your daddy between those two couples because there are two men who are staying together and then Who's Omar? How do you live with them? All those questions, but I don't have a problem because I just ignore. But sometimes I thought, like, you know, just leave it and then just to keep quiet and ignore people. I, I know that everybody is all the time looking at me. That's one thing that I know. Um, uh, yeah, but sometimes you, you ended up like, you don't care. I mean, you mm. see, because I always believe um, uh, that. Um, uh, and, 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 and know that one day something may happen. It's a matter of time when. But what, what I, I, I know that those things, that fear can control my life. Um, fear can control me. If, if something is not OK, I'm not going to be quiet because I'm scared. Someone can take me out. I, I, I can't do that. My dream is that people can grow up and choose to be who they want to be and how they want to be and that one way of being is not seen to be more important and more valuable than the, than the other. My dream is to work freely in my community and accept it without judgment. My dream is to live in a country where there is social justice. Uh, there are not people who are poor, there are not people who are so rich that they eat all the food of the poor people. My dream is any woman any lesbian died in South Africa because it's lesbian. My dream is, is, is the dream what is, what the dream that Desmond Tutu always have. 
uh, the dream of the country where there's harmony and peace. Yazi, you should ever sit and talk with people or else take a walk and create a straight talk. Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger. Listen what is right and say what is wrong. You should ever sit and talk with people or else take a walk and create a straight talk. Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger. Listen what is right and say what is wrong.